Hello learners, in this discussion we will discuss about the remaining part of unit number 7 that is from your creativity unit. So in the first unit, uh, first part of the unit we have discussed about the basic concept its uh, characteristics and factors of creativity. In this discussion we will discuss about the relationship between creativity and intelligence, creativity and education as well as we will discuss about the role of school in the promotion of creativity as well as the role of the home in the promotion of creativity. Then we will summarize the lesson and end the unit. So let's start. So in the first part we have discussed that creativity is a potential which help in generating new ideas and novelty or in innovative forms. But there is a, a common thinking or common saying that intelligence and uh, creativity are interrelated. But what actually it is, we have to discuss. As you are a student of educational psychology, you know that intelligence and creativity both are psychological attributes. Though Creativity cannot be separated from intelligence. It is not the necessary that only the person with high IQ can really create something new. So most important thing here. It is not necessary that a person with high IQ can create something new. That means what? Intelligence is not the only condition for creativity. A person with average intelligence can also bring new ideas, new objects, and new discovery. Intelligence and creativity are not the essential condition of each other. However, a certain level of intelligence is necessary for successful creative expression. Though we have discussed that creative uh, intelligence is not a condition, essential condition for creativity, but a but a certain level of intelligence is essential because a person with low zero IQ cannot make any new thing. A certain level of intelligence is essential. But you should remember that this is not the only condition and we can consider, we can say that there are, there are relationships between creativity and intelligence but they are not essential condition for each other. A quotation I have quoted here by Keanu and Kirby. He said that an individual can be extremely bright but uncreative, or a highly creative but not necessarily intellectually gifted. That means what? An individual can be highly bright or he may have high IQ, but he may not be creative. But a creative person, but Yes, but a highly creative but not necessarily intellectual gifted. The same thing they are focusing on that intelligence and creative creativity are not essentially related. Then relationship between creativity and education. Yes, creativity is totally an individualistic uh, potential. But what how education comes here? We have to discuss. Though creativity is a national and natural endowment, appropriate opportunities, proper training and education is necessary for creative expression. Yes, creativity is a natural endowment. A child can attain it by birth. It, it may be his natural endowment, but if he is not identified properly by his teacher, properly by his parents, he cannot develop his creative potentiality. For creative potentiality, for its expression, it needs a proper training, proper environment. And the environment can be given by the education. Because creativity is considered a significant component of an individual's personality. So education also encompasses development of creative abilities when it indicates all-round development. Because we all know that education emphasizes on all-round development of the child. It is the basic primary objective of education. And creativity is a part, component of an individual's total personality development. 
and as such education put emphasis on it for its proper development. Education therefore should provide the children appropriate condition and opportunities for proper growth and development of their creative abilities. So when we uh, think about or when we discuss about education in terms of promoting creativity, who will do it? The teachers. The teachers are the main central point of education. So they must think, they must attend they must pay proper attention for the promotion of creativity in the child. It is the first and foremost duty of the teacher to identify the creative person and provide them the platform where they can nourish it. So how they will do it? They, will, they can do it or they will do it by providing opportunity for artistic expression by uh, organizing, by attending or by creating artistic, uh, you know, competition or any kind of activities, they can provide the artistic express expression for the particular creative children or children. <coughs> then healthy and atmosphere of her creative expression. The teacher must encourage because encourage or encouragement is the important condition for creativity. The teacher should provide healthy atmosphere. They should always encourage, they should not push them back, rather they should encourage them for expressing their creativity. Then encouragement for imbibing good qualities like self-confidence, self-reliance by encouraging them to do any kind of activity which, which uh, you know, generates self-confidence, uh, self-reliance, self-feeling, they can help the child for promoting their creative qualities. Then opportunities for the creative work in school curriculum. Yes, school curriculum can be used as one of the more important medium for promoting creativity. Various kind of creative activities can be included in the school curriculum. Artistic, li literature, any, any creative activity can be included or advised to do in as a part of the school curriculum. Then application of different special technique and method like brainstorming, gaming, then teaching models like Barnard's concept attainment model. I think you all have come across this technique in your first semester food paper. Mm -hmm. Then fostering creativity among the children. So applying different kind of scientific and activity based method the teacher can promote creativity as well as they can apply different models there are different model of teaching and these models can be applied by the teacher for promoting creativity among the student then helping people to apprehend and think over the often eventualities of their own actions. So they can be asked or they can be encouraged to evaluate their own action, what they have done. It is good or bad. If it is good, it's okay. They are advised to encourage to make it better. If it is not good, then it, they should be advised or encouraged to make it good by applying different kind of innovative ideas, novel ideas. This can also encourage or promote creativity in the child. Then encouraging children to draw inferences of their own accomplishment. Yes, what they have accomplished. By drawing out the inference also they can be encouraged to promote creativity among the children. So these are not the least the teacher can list out lots of activities, lots of uh, means through which they can promote creativity among the child. The teacher, teacher's role is very important because they are guiding the child. They are molding the child. So they should pay special attention in finding out the creativity among or creative child among the class. Then we have the uh, home. Other than the school, this is the home where the child spends lots of his time. Because and home is the first school for the child. So the parent, 
especially the father, mother, and other guardian, must identify the creative nature of their child, so that they can nourish it, provide proper attention, provide proper resources and environment to develop it. So how they can do it? By monitoring and directing the use of resources like TV, computer, mobile, internet, etc. Nowadays, we have seen that the addiction to the mobile TV is increasing day by day. So that parents can monitor it and direct its use because uh, technology have uh, given us lots of uh, good thing but besides it besides its good thing we have it, we, it have some negative impact also so leaving it we have to think on its creative and structural use so the parents can make a very important role in this part then encouraging creative expression by their children by use of by or by different play different uh, you know interest hobbies in the family by sharing hobbies interests like flying doing puzzles sport painting they can also be encouraged taking care of the emotional environment very very important because uh, we have come to know that for creative expression, the creative person or the particular person need free space and time. So the parents should should take proper care of in this fact that they should not provide imposition. They should not be imposed to do something. They should be given free time and space so that they can think, imagine from their own point of view and create something new. Then uh, permitting the children to ask questions without any hesitation. Yes, at a particular stage, the child becomes very curious and they are going on asking questions without any interruption. So, uh, they, the parents should uh, take proper care of it because if they are given proper answer, the creativity will be developed. Otherwise, it will be suppressed. So the parents should take proper care of in all these things, not at a particular stage, but even after birth, because it is a natural endowment. Then another important thing is allowing children to make mistakes and take chances. Yes, we learn from mistakes. We learn from challenges. We learn from problems. So let, we should let our child to change, face challenges. We should let our child to make mistakes. Through mistakes only, they will learn. They will learn, yes. We should not, we should not, you know, scold them for doing mistakes. Instead, we should let them do mistakes. Through mistakes, they will learn, but we should take special care so that they do not make a repeated mistake because creativity is something like that which is uh, in a state of development or generation out of the challenges and problem therefore we can say that the home and the school are the most important factors or the condition or environment who can provide the base out of base to the child for development of their creative NASA. So what we have discussed in this part? We have discussed about the relationship of creativity with intelligence and what we have gained that intelligence and creativity are not the essential condition of each other. However, a certain level of intelligence is necessary for successful creative expression. Then education should provide the children the good condition and opportunities for full growth and development of the particular creative abilities. And when we talk about education, it comes to the school and the teacher. The school as well as the home can influence a lot in the development of creativity by taking lots of care, by sharing their hobbies and doing lots of things that we have discussed in the 
discussion. So in this way, we have come to the end of this unit and I hope that you are able to clarify your doubt regarding the creativity, its uh, aspect, factors, step and the role of teachers and school uh, and the home in developing creativity um, in the particular children or among the children. Thank you.